OMIS 351. This is your grade calculation video tutorial for Google Sites. I can zoom this in. I have made a sheet in Excel. View the Excel introduction video if you need extra help with Excel. Importantly, we have a FERPA statement here, so no one thinks this is a real sheet posting student grades, which would be against the law. Make sure your sheet also has such a line. Go to the online schedule and link to the virtual case link that describes all the requirements for doing this assignment. But here I've forgotten to put Chuck Downing made up. I'm going to size that column just to fit that. And just to be safe, I'm going to put made up after each one of these. You need to do 10 of these. I'm only doing five for this example video. These numbers are typed in. The virtual cases are all typed in. This number, virtual case two for just me, is the last two digits of my Z number. Anything else, these can be made up. There's the formula for the average of those seven virtual cases. Quizzes are 25 points. The formula for the qu your quiz average out of 100 is a little more complicated. We add up all seven, subtract the minimum. That's because you get to drop your lowest quiz. Then divide by six because there are six quizzes left after you dropped your lowest. Divide by 25 and multiply by 100 to put it on a 100 point scale. Final exam is a number and then percentage. You can look this up in the syllabus. Their participation times 15%. J4 is your virtual cases are 15%. Your quizzes and your final are each 35%. Then once we get a numerical percentage, we need to go to the syllabus. And this chart here has been replicated from the syllabus to tells you what you need to get which grade. To do that on Excel, that's a VLOOKUP function. We're looking up T4, the percentage. We have an absolute reference of this table where we're looking it up. When we find an answer, we're returning the answer from the second column, the letter grade. I make that an absolute reference so I can easily copy it down. I do an eyeball check to make sure these grades are OK, and I'm good to go. Now I want to post this to my Google site so the TA can be convinced that I have done this in Excel. The simplest way to to do this here is the snipping tool, like in the original video, but now I can't see everything here. So I'm going to go back and zoom out. And now everything I want to show in the picture can be seen in the picture. I open up my snipping tool in a PC. Again, we're just taking a screenshot. If you're in a Mac, Command Shift 4. Only need to show what's relevant to the assignment. I'm going to save this as a file. Call it Excel Grades. I have my Google Sheet already open. 
Got my name, my resume, my career statement, my picture. Need to put in a new page. Going to call it Excel Grades. Make it easy for the TA to find. I'm going to insert an image also like we did before. Oops. Make it larger so the TA can see that I know what I'm doing. No, that's from the other example. Pick the wrong picture. Got to remember where you store your files. There it is. Now carefully I want to make sure the whole thing is in there before I publish it. It says nothing is published. Do you want to do this? Yes, I want to do this. I tend to like to check it this way. Sites.google view and this is my 351 page. So put these out of order, that's okay. Let's take a quick look. Looks nice. Your virtual case one link tells you there's one more thing you need to do. We need to prove that we didn't just type these numbers in. So the way that you do that you go to the formulas tab and your menu toolbar might look different mine is condensed here but in the formula auditing group there's a button called show formulas see when I toggle that the cells that have numbers as contents stay there the cells that have formula show the formula so I can toggle back and forth now as you can see it's going to be really difficult to take a picture of this so since you already showed your sheet it's okay to hide these columns. All the columns that just have numbers in them, I'm right clicking here. You could also go to the format here and say hide the columns. I'm just right clicking. So now the only problem is this formula doesn't show, so I double click to make sure the entire formula is shown. This unhid, so I hide that. Double clicking on the right, make sure the entire formula shows so the TA can see it. I also don't need this table to show again. The TA should know where that is. So the only formulas that we have, and we want this to show again, see if we can get that to show over the cells that are still remaining so anybody knows close so I'm merging and centering I have to include all those cells there we go no student data or privacy has been compromised that's important now I see the four columns that have formulas. You can see those here if you need to remember what they were. I go back to my snipping tool, just taking a portion of this screen. Save it as a file. I'm going to save it as Excel Grades Formulas. Go back to my Google Sheet. Pages, new page, Excel, grade, formulas. Insert an image. make it viewable
publish it. Go check it. Refresh the page. I had to do it twice. Nice. I've got my grades. I've got my formulas. You're all set to go.